Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess who this is? You probably can't recognize him. <laughs> Dave. With hair. Yes, finally with hair. And if you can't recognize me, let me take this off. Okay. Put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> Tonight, we got one costume contest. Last night, we were out. Uh, you had a good time last oh, night? Yeah, that was great last night. I think we went to four different places. <laughs> so, on a Thursday night, got started. <laughs> I think I uploaded a YouTube short. The hit of the night, though, was that blood bag drink. Really cool. That was, yeah. And the food was really good, too. So, uh, we had a good time last night. Also, um, while you're in town, you got a chance to go over to 3MA, right? I sure did, you know, and uh, I went in yesterday, and I went to the original store first, and not realizing that uh, they had, you know, of course, they're fully shut down now. They're boxing everything up, getting ready for the big move to the new store. And Luis uh, came came in at that time, because he was at the new store, and he gave me a ride over there, and I got a chance, you know, to check it all out. And it's going to be really, really nice. Yeah, much better than their existing store. Oh, yeah. Built purpose, built for audio purpose and not for retrofitting. That's right. The full so, electrical thing, the way the walls are built, the isolation between rooms. And it um, piggybacks into a video I filmed earlier before you got here in this room talking about room correction and the um, Arc Genesis seminar I went to while I was at Tor uh, Toronto Audio Fest, the Anthem product, similar to Dirac. And it piggybacks into something that we, we can disclose today. You guys are going to be the, well, it's, other it's, than my members who have known it's him a big for one. a while. It's a big one. But speaking of room correction, Bach, Theoretical Applied Physics, Edgar, that I sell, you, you've heard about that product, award-winning. Not only is that going to be at Capital Audio Fest, but he's debuting something that he called me super excited about today. He's finalized his Optimal Room Correction, ORC, which is his competition to Dirac and Arc Genesis. He's always appreciated what those can do and definitely is an advocate of doing anything you can in the DSP realm possible to enhance what you hear at your listening position. But his whole thing has been, it's always been an estimate because you have to take all these multiple measurements from quite far distances, especially in the Arc Genesis um, realm that it's not as accurate as it could be. And now with his in-ear measurement mics that are flat to 40,000 Hertz on the Bach, he's been able to leverage that technology to create his own room correction software. And he's tested it now and been doing AB, comparison to, to direct in his lab. And uh, I'm gonna have the first, uh, one of the first in the field to try it. My members of my channel get to try it as well. If you are, a member of my channel and you own the Bach and bought it through me, you're actually going to get that software for free and be a beta tester. So there's a lot of benefits to the WhatsApp group. Dave's in the WhatsApp group. That's the one negative. you got to hear Dave every once in a while. But it, but anyway, it's a good time. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect is right. But uh, yeah, and then Dave got a chance to uh, come into my room. Now, one, one thing about Dave, he's known my room and system coming out here for years such that he saw it when it was just basically a budget room with Maggie's home theater. And then I started putting more and more attention to it. And then the Bach. So he has a lot of experience, uh, in my room. And this is a good chance to show a small room near field, what the Bach can do. He's got, if you watch the YouTube videos we did at his house, Purpose built, big room, like perfect acoustics. Everybody raves even before the Bach how good the sound stage was. But uh, it'd be good to get Dave's impression, what you've seen over the years here, and what you think with the Bach in a small room like this. Sure, because uh, you know most people they, they look at a small room that's fairly square, right? And they they won't give it a second thought. Even for a while, I remember you had told Doug that you were considering eh, this isn't. I can't make this happen. Mm -hmm. And boy, with your, um, you put your time and effort into research to finding out what is what. And over time, it's just completely transformed into one of the finest, smaller sized listening rooms I've ever been in. The, what it is, it's not just everything is coherent and in time, it's solid. You know, just has that basic feel. The bass is just incredible. And uh, but it's not overdone. 
It's exactly how it should be. We were pushing high SPLs, and yeah, I, want, yeah. I, I like to show people you can get good bass sometimes at certain volume levels, but if, after you get to a certain point, it overloads the room, it starts adding, uh, the room starts resonating, and that's what I... And know, there we, is none of that, none of that here. So it's a very complex formula that Bach, DSP, Direct, and, and then lots of bass traps and stuff I've learned over the years. But the whole point is, these are the things in the hobby, and Dave can, has done the same thing with his room. These are the things I want as my channel, as a tenant of my channel. If you're going to be neurotic about things in the hobby, be neurotic about these kind of things. Room treatments, DSP, dialing things in with proper placement versus the direction of a fuse. Uh, even cables, uh, cable elevators. It's fine if you want to do all that. Play with that. That's fine. We're, we all like to do a little bit of that uh, as part of the hobby. But in terms of being neurotic and focusing your priorities, this is where it's at. And yeah. Dave's room, and then as you can hear here, he could see the and hear the difference over the years. People like to focus on, I, I call it chasing the little mice around the room, all the little things, the cables, the this, the that, this component versus that component. And they overlook the big gorilla in the room, which is the setup. <laughs> it's your listening triangle. Right. It's your position within the room, the speakers within the, it's, it's the setup. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, Dave's gets, here we have two different size rooms, get a little, still a little bit different presentations, but our measurements are very similar, yep. tracking left and right identically in a room difficult room uh you know these are the things that you want to pay attention to it's one of the things that's a, b a benefit to being in our whatsapp group if you like one of the things that we talk about a lot is dsp <laughs> you know so if you're not a dsp fan you know it may not be your your best uh resource but in terms of if you ever want to learn and hear of how it works so well for people that's something we talk about a lot what's well, about the correct use of dsp right because DSP is a very generic term. You say DSP, and it brings in a whole lot of horrors to some people. Well, that's the other thing. People you will know. will not, they'll be so specific on the type of capacitor, type of fuse, um, that you can't lump all those in together. But then, when it comes to DSP, they'll lump everything together. Like a parametric EQ versus DSP, <laughs> DSP on a sub versus, you know, there's so many types of DSP. And, as you mentioned, it's the application of it that can swing and that's where a lot of people get in trouble because dsp for the most part until edgar has come out with this software and then direct and arc genesis to a certain extent you've been left to your own devices and experience right and as malcolm gladwell says and i can attest to this if you don't have ten thousand hours experience doing something you really can't consider yourself an expert i'm still learning and I feel like I'm light years ahead of where I used to be. So these people that say, oh, I've tried DSP. Have you really? Have you really put in the time? Have you really understood what frequencies are impact? How much experience do you tangibly have with it to make those kind of conclusions? In most cases, when you ask them what they've used, uh, how much experience they have, they really have none. You know, And so relatively speaking, it's a, it's a learning curve. But that's why people like us are sharing our knowledge and in the WhatsApp group and with this channel. And then Edgar has now pretty much automated it. Automated it. So I'm going to be having some reviews of that. Capital Audio Fest is where you can't make it this year, right? I don't think so. Okay. I've got another trip that I have to make uh, okay. around the same time. Yeah, so Capital Audio Fest will be debuting that with the Bach. If you are a viewer of my channel, serious about getting a demo and wanting to potentially buy it, I am scheduling dedicated demos where we'll close the room and you can get a dedicated demo calibrated the full experience of owning the Bach. I've already got three or four people dedicated to time slots so feel free to reach out to me if you're going to Capital Audio Fest and you'll probably get a chance to listen to this automated room correction too. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited to get my hands on it. Anything else, Dave, other than... I just uh, wanted to bring up real quick, again, about 3MA. It was just such a pleasure. I don't get a chance to go there often. So I, don't, I, I live in Louisiana, so I don't have a chance to come and visit. And even with everything they had going on, I was still welcomed like family again. Yeah. You know? And it was just incredible. In fact, I even got taken to lunch. That's yeah, nice. at that great restaurant right next door to where the new Yeah, they're going to have a nice be. restaurant right next door. Oh, yeah. And it brings up a macro point that I've been trying to showcase. When I go to different towns, I like to showcase... The dealers. I did one just recently in Toronto because we need to support these brick and mortar businesses uh, that are doing a good job. OK, all these people that are buying online are sabotaging a lot of these dealers that 
this is a great resource because a lot of the learning curve as well comes from these people that install on a regular basis, do this, live this, eight hours a day. These are the kind of people, there is value to going through a dealer and going through the right dealers. And that's what I like to focus on whenever I go to a town. Get, you know, I can't vouch for 100%. I don't have that much experience with a lot of them. But like 3MA, I have a lot of experience over many years. These are the type of businesses you want to support and support a good dealer, not just people that are going to undercut people, give you the lowest price, you know, all this kind of stuff that are kind of sometimes not even allowed. Um, there's a lot of shady people out there. But again, this is the kind of feedback that I think is valuable on the channel. So I'm glad you mentioned that. It's just such a pleasure going in, right? Every time you walk through that door. Yeah. So you the know? new door is new door. a lot different. I like the old door, that metal door. The metal that, door is cool. Man, but yeah, cool. other than that, everything else should be <laughs> an upgrade significantly. Unfortunately, there's no spectacular audio fest, but got my costume. We're creating our own. We're creating our own tonight. And so uh, maybe later tonight, I'll have a YouTube short with... <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, yeah. right? Probably we'll see the YouTube <laughs> shorts before this video comes out. But in any case, lots of fun. Uh, sign up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you back here soon.